Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to The Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we are going to be looking at doing some do and do while loops. So using loops is a, a pretty good thing to have, especially if you need to iterate through something um, really quickly and you want to apply certain attributes or values to maybe a certain person or a certain thing if it equals a certain thing. So doing a do while loop is pretty easy and there's not really much difference between them, just in more of when and how they run, right? So let's go ahead and say int, um, int i equals nine. Okay, so right now this is gonna pretty much always return true if we go ahead and say while i is equal to nine. Oops, I have insert on. So while i is equal to nine, we need double equals there. So while i is equal to nine, you can see there that the condition i equals nine is always true. But let's just say, just for this, let's just go ahead and make a private static double and now you know we've been using void but that's if we don't want to return anything but if we do a double we're going to need to return a double so we'll just change this to return double and then we'll just go ahead and say return nine so now we can go ahead and pop this in here and we can say return double and then it's not going to say this is always true because this might this the way it's reading it is it's saying it might not always return true because it's not it's not getting this until it's run all right versus if we have a variable uh, that's constant, which I mean, technically it still is, but like I just said, it doesn't understand that it's constant until we actually run that bit of code. So, so now this is gonna only run while return double is equal to nine. So in here, we can go ahead and say system.out.println um, double is equal to nine. So now if we go ahead and run this, you were gonna get a console spam, right? So that's how fast while loops go for, right? So we can say while is equal to 10, so we'll just change this to 10, and say we want it to stop, right? So what we could do is we could go ahead and depending what you're doing, for this example, we'll just do this. So we'll go ahead and say int uh, counter equals zero. So we want it to start at zero. Then we can go ahead and say counter plus plus, so we can say if counter is equal to, or we'll say less than or equal to 10, say we only wanted this to run 10 times, we're gonna go ahead and run this code, else we can do what's called a break. And a break is basically we're just stopping the code, we're stopping the whole while loop so it's not going any further. I mean, technically it's not gonna go any further than this anyways because it's gonna read this and it's not gonna, the while loop's gonna continue, but it's not gonna system print out. So what's the point of keeping it going? So we can just break it. So now, if we, is equal to 10, and then we'll go ahead and say counter is equal to, and then we'll just go ahead and say plus counter. So now, if we go ahead and run this, we can see there that our counter is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and 11, because you see it goes all the way to 11 because our counter is starting at zero and then we're adding it uh, right here. So we're adding at the top if we wanted to change this and add it down here at the bottom so it gets the first number, you know, however we wanted to do it because remember everything starts at zero. But now what is the difference between a while and a do while? So the main difference between a while and a do while is a while or a do while is going to run something first then check the while, right? So if we go ahead and say do while, and now we can go ahead and take all of this here and delete all this. So we're gonna do this while return double is equal to 10. So it's pretty much going to do the same exact thing. It's just gonna run this part here first, right? So it's gonna run this, it's gonna read this code execute this first, then check the while loop. So this is always gonna run at least once, right? While in a while loop, it may not run at all because it might not equal it 
whatsoever. So if we go ahead and change this to nine, and we'll go ahead and press play, you can see there that double is equal to 10. It's not really equal to 10 because um, we just have this outputted here. But you can see that, that it says counter is equal to zero, right? Because it only ran this once and then it checked the while loop and the while loop told it that it is it's false. It's not a true statement, so it's gonna stop itself. So that's pretty much all I got for while loops. Um, like I said, they're pretty easy. I think maybe next video we'll get into for loops and then switch, <coughs> switch case statements. But if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on Tuesday.